Megan and I met over Instagram. I was scrolling through my feed and uh, someone who was a friend had this video of the two of them, it was like a Snapchat. Um, oh gosh, just that whole thing, it started was like the, dog ears. The dog, and the dog ears. And That's what he saw of me. That was the first thing I was like, who is that? <laughs> this is ridiculous. And then she sent me an email saying, I know you said you're single and a friend of mine asked about you and maybe you'd like to meet him. And I said, who is it? And she said, it's Prince Haz. And I said, who's that? You were late. Mm -hmm. And I couldn't understand why he would be late. That he kept texting when he was late. He's like, I'm in traffic, I'm so sorry, I'm in traffic, I'm so sorry. I was panicking, I was freaking out. I was like sweating. Meghan Markle, congratulations to you both. Thank you. Can we start with the proposal and the actual moment of your engagement? When did it happen? How did it happen? Uh, it happened uh, a few weeks ago, mm. um, earlier this month, here at, at our cottage. In your engagement interview, um, <laughs> Orchestrated said... reality show, yeah. It was like that. Like, I curtsied as though I was like... <laughs> Pleasure to meet you, Your Majesty. I think for so many people in the family, especially obviously the men, there can be a temptation or an urge to marry someone who would fit the mold, as opposed to somebody who you perhaps are destined to, to be with. It was I mean, one of the biggest mistakes of my life. I felt so ashamed afterwards. The last concert I went to there, I went to with my mom, and we were in the parking lot leaving and my mom like honked her horn because this woman was taking a long time to like figure out how to get out. And the woman turned around and screamed the N word at my mom.